Yes, Nicholas, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Today we have Zorin OS15, but the education version. Now, I've been looking at this for a couple of days. Now, if they don't do well with this, I will eat a sheet of paper, okay? Because it's got everything a school would need. It's operating system for the school, Linux-based, and it's, it's all there, and I'm going to show you. So we're not going to hover around all the usual stuff like we normally do. We're just going to focus on the education stuff that's inside Zorin OS 15, okay? So, we'll have to go down to the menu, of course. So we've got education. Now, what's in education? I hear you cry. Okay. Blinking. Child's Play. If nobody's seen, seen Child's Play before, it's for preschool and key stage one, okay? Up to about year two. It's been around for a really long while. It works really, really well. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one good one, anyway. G Compress. And another one that's been around for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Love but I'm going to scroll down because we have, okay, no other Linux distribution has this, the Scratch Desktop. Yeah. We go straight to the Scratch Desktop. Now, I imagine this is not the app, but similar to Peppermint, they make the web page an app, okay? Which, why I didn't think of that before, I don't know, okay? But I'm going to try it on Peppermint later, and it'll probably look exactly the same. So this is Scratch 3. If you've never used Scratch before, it's the latest and greatest version. It came in around ooh, May, June, something like that. Okay. And you do stuff, programming with kids, via blocks, okay, to do stuff, okay? To do stuff. So if they want to choose a background for their little project, they'll go and choose one, or they can import one, okay? So we'll just import the desert. There's my cat in the desert. I'm going to move him down here. I'll just do it really quickly for you. We want to move our cat along. So if we go to events, when the green flag is clicked, we want to. Should we glide or should we move? We'll move. Ooh, I don't know. We'll move 10 steps, but we'll put that in a loop, yeah? So we'll repeat that 10 times. Yeah, be alright. That can go in there. And what we'll do, we'll actually make it wait one second. Or half a second between each move. So if we go here, here, and here. We'll put 0 0.5. It's going to move 10 steps 10 times, okay? It'll probably go right off the screen, but never mind. Are you ready? Here we go. So click on the flag. Now, you can change the costume so it actually looks like they're walking. This is a really, really easy one. This is for like year three, year four. Just easy. But I just thought I'd show you. So that's the main big thing for education. For me, anyway. So we'll get rid of that. And yeah, we do know it's going to not save anything once we leave, for the simple reason it's not the real program, is it? I don't think. And anyway, what else does it have that I would use? I hear you cry, okay, in education. There's a big one in a minute, I'll show you. But under here, we have Blender and Darktable. Blender, we're using Code Club for animations, as you know. Gimpages here and Darktable for your photographs. Inkscape and Critter for drawing. Uh, yeah, it's all here. Obviously, the full office suite for when you're doing stuff. You don't have to be online with a full office suite. You can do it offline. Yeah, offline. Back to education. Okay. <clears throat> Kananogram. K-Bunch. K-Touch for typing. K-Turtle. Yeah, apart from programming. Step is step stuff. Tux paint and tux typing. Yeah. Now, here's the big one. Okay. If it works. Okay. Veyon Master. So, I'm going to put my password in. It's not configured or anything, but I'm just showing you what it actually looks like. This would be the teacher's unit, the teacher's computer. And on here would be all the student stuff. You can uh, let's see what they're doing. You can lock them all down. If you go to school or you work in a school, there are other versions of this, okay? So you're, you know what I mean. But this was one of the things that was lacking in educational stuff for Linux to be used properly in a school. So this is the first really, really big one, okay? So you can monitor, okay? So you monitor all the screens or just one, okay? You can lock all the screens down. You can remotely control everything. If you're a teacher or an educator and you've got one of these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you could have this for free, without paying for it, yeah, no monies, no, it's free. You don't have to pay Zorin nothing for this one. You only have to pay for their ultimate, which is something like, was it 30 euros or 20 euros? Something like that, anyway. This one is free. And this is the big thing. And this is while I will hit some paper and hats and stuff if they don't do well with this at all. We'll go back into education again one more time. I'm not going to stay too long. I was just really pleased that somebody's actually bothered to put all the stuff you need in for a classroom. That's for secondary and primary. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. If I take you into the canogram, 
there's plenty of stuff here. Remember, you can add other stuff too when it decides to come up. So it's basically what is the answer to that? Okay, it's a hard word. So if I click on give me a clue, they're not giving me any clues. I have to solve these anagrams. Okay, so that's a medium one. We're going numbers. What's that? What number is it? You should know. Yeah, it's great. Let's come over that. Let's quit that. Okay. Under internet, we've got our usual. I did say we're not going to go into it, but Firefox is your basic web browser. Remember, you can install Chrome, so the kids won't know any difference whatsoever. Under science, plenty here as well. Including Stellarium, as we all know. Junior Octave and Calgebra. Yeah. I love the way they put Ks in the front of everything. Yeah, I know. Under programming, Builder, Fritzing, and System Prof. Okay. And the games, what have we got? Some of the same in some of the same sections, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, Labby's here. That's a nice little one. Mind test by default. Yes, you can run a Minecraft in Linux really, really easily. There is an app for it, but you have to pay for the app, don't you? Or the program, or the game. I think it's still £18 now. The price has not changed over the years. Not at all. And that's around about it that I want to show you, really. This is just what I want to show you. So... They should do really, really well out of this. If they don't, there's something wrong, or somebody's getting a backhander. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.